dust in the universe To the waters in the womb I surf I'm the all in all From the atoms that exist in the sun To the atom that's in Genesis 1 I'm the all in all From the first king that walked this globe To the last black slave they stole I'm the all in all Every living thing you see All of those things exist in me I'm the all in all From the depths of the sea to Mount Everest a law in the flesh, most benevolent This physical form born from melanin When electrical thoughts sparked intelligence Ain't nothing existing I don't exist in From the clouds in the heavens down to this skin If you're doing the knowledge, you can follow jewels In both cases, the basis, water molecules Rain, sleet, snow, hail storms Come together the same way that my cells form You don't see it yet Hard to fathom still, it's A alike to the pyramids, how my atoms build. I existed as DNA when the earth formed, and my paternal lineage is from the firstborns. Holy Quran, Bible, I'm coded there. In a fine mist, you'll miss if you don't know the square. Yeah, on all four corners, they seek the G. While shriners speak on me in secrecy, I created the earth as mother and daughter. Her bones are the rocks, her blood is the water. Yeah. Her skin is the crust, her heart is the core. Yeah. I planted the seeds, I parted the shores. Yeah. Emitted my light, she saw the corrupt. Okay, y'all, y'all know this is God in the streets. Make sure y'all subscribe, hit the like button, and definitely share. I'm gonna play this right here because I gotta give a supreme shout out to my man Zip with the drip with this whole baby situation and everything he done stood tall he done stood firm i didn't address it you know like i said i don't i don't like it you know bim is from my cloth man it's too many of us that you know done turned and went the other way and could be compromised because we fell victim to having to deal with the individuals, as the young brothers say nowadays, that was our ops. I thought the police was our ops in the street. If you a criminal, their job is to catch you at what you're doing wrong, and your job is to get away, not to commit crimes, and then when they catch you, you want to bring your man and his mama and everybody else into the equation? That's weak. But once again, we live in, in a society where it's condoned. Individuals take down, they hold set, they come home, they make millions. Another individual, his set is up in the air, he come home, his album go number one. It's just... That's how things go. It's no, it's no more loyalty, respect, honor, none of that bullshit that y'all keep trying to promote to the young out here. Y'all better promote the right thing and let them know that nine out of ten, if you moving like that, when it come time for you to deal with the consequences, like we say in our map, you know, a justice is a reward or penalty for one acts or deeds, that's 100% right and exact. But I'm not going to keep y'all any further before I get to this live, you know, calling with my man Zip. And so far, everything that he's put out there to show and prove what he first started, he didn't start. Like Gray said, where you at, 10 toes down? I don't know none of y'all cats. I watch everybody's podcast, you know. I hope that all of y'all can deliver good messages to uphill our community first, but all the mankind, you know what I'm saying? Like Drew Ali said, uplift fallen humanity. But in the same token, I got to rock with those that's going to rock with me. So, once again, I appreciate you letting me voice my opinion on what's taking place 
with you revealing that and this uh I'm gonna get at that that situation with this uh what is it uh the Jake ten ninety Jake or that's later on. Let's get to this uh zip with the drip live interview with me tonight. Okay, y'all ready? Let's get it popping. TKO Pops, my man name was Raheem Hell, his father died in the feds. I think they killed him in one of them spots, you heard? Wow, yo, you know he's one of the most official niggas out there. As you can see, you know, I'm going to play that part back just a little bit that I didn't even know. I didn't know that Muhammad had passed away in the penitentiary. So these other prior videos that I spoke about this, but everything is real, y'all. I got, I got so many individuals that could tell you I was telling outpost stories, all, all type of stories when I was in the South and cultivated this and that. And I know later on when they started coming with Fed magazines and Dawn Diva and this, that, and the third, like, because it's living proof. You can't, you can't take away, you know, that which is the truth, and the truth lies in the reality that we live, okay? So let me get back to this with my man Zip and me being on his platform last night. I could have came on you with that Billy thing right there, man, but you know, you've been giving it to them. I laid the whole case out, everything. I told people when I was in there in 91, with my man Royal Hill, Muhammad. From yeah, yeah, that was my man father. Both of them died too. God bless the dead, the both of them. You heard? He gone? He gone? Yeah, yeah. I, th I think, I think he died, man. That's my, I think that's my man TKO Pops. My man name was Raheem Hell. His father died in the feds. I think they killed him in one of them spots. You heard? Wow, yo, you know he's one of the most official niggas out there, man. Yeah, he was one of the I most official niggas out there. Cool, look, the, the, the nigga's son was right. official like that too. <laughs> Right, I mean, I, that's what I'm saying on that joint, me and T.A., T.A. just returned, I spoke at his funeral and the whole thing, but he's the one that got me off that under the 65 of life, and that's why I put my paperwork up this in, you know what I'm saying, because uh, sometimes people be thinking, you know, like through association, I'm just real like that, man, if you, if you my peoples, you my peoples, if you out here doing something constructive like you doing right now, I'm a roll with you. But I'm not on none of that flip flop shit. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, for real, I lay it down like that so you can see. Like, you, you see what I did with that Corona Queens shit? I was going out there to Booty Land, 16 motherfucking years old, with New Sound and all of them rocking. Like, this whole thing right here, man, is involving hip hop. Jail, you know, school, everything, man. We cover it in all facets, man. And the thing that I like it that you did, man, is that you come home and you show versatility. Like when motherfuckers try to come at you like you like you on some clown shit or just some stupid jail shit, you let them know. Yo, when I was in there, I got, if I'm not mistaken, a degree from Cornell or some shit, right? I ain't getting no degree. You didn't? Nah, but I went to college, though. Oh, okay, okay. Well, then that's cool enough. You use just some of your time constructively. I ain't gonna go all out on you, man. I'm proud of you, man. Keep doing what you're doing. I seen your joint up there. 
when you know your podcast gonna get lit, I'm gonna keep doing my thing, you know what I'm saying, and, you know, hopefully when I go live, when you joint you, you know, jump up on my joint, cause I ain't, I ain't gonna have number real motherfuckers up there. Inshallah, inshallah. All right, yo, we see what's up with that. We see what's up with that. You heard? Appreciate you for calling, man. Appreciate those words and all that. You keep safe out there, you heard? I'm going to do that, man. You do the same thing, man. Keep your head up, man, and keep it real, man. I'm moving with you 100. Inshallah. 100, B. All right, peace. Peace. Yo, state your name. We said you claim All right. So as y'all can see, my man Zip let me get off and... I ain't no rider, man. You know, I'm too old for that, too real for that, and everything else. I just keep it 100, you know. And if I see that you doing something, you know, that's changing your condition, changing other people's condition due to the realness or delivery from the circumstances in which you come out of, and you can make a better situation for yourself, I'm all for that. Because I come from the era of the congratulator. I was out there in the encore on Tuesday nights. You know what I'm saying? With them all doing it big. And another thing in that Queen's Flip uh, interview, you know, Bimmy talked about Frenchie and little Frenchie. And Frenchie brother born justice. Come on. Like I said, I got massive content. But most of all, like when I began this, today is the born day, so I'm making everything born. And like I said, once again, my word is born. Have you not heard that your word shall be your born, regardless of whom or what? Yes, my word is born. And my bond is my life. And I will give my life before my word shall fail. That's the greatest oath, the greatest anything, you know, that you can take in your life is your word. Once again, like Scarface said, you know, and he was supposed to be an ignorant, uh, immigrant just getting here trying to make it better in America. And he said, all I got is my word and my balls. And truthfully, that's all he had. And principles that he was willing to let everything go, not to pull that hit on killing a child. Because there's certain lines that you're not supposed to cross. You understand? I don't know what Star gave up or anything else. Like I said, I showed y'all and make sure y'all watch those videos. Make sure you watch the video. You could go to them brothers channel. They just starting out. Timeless History channel. You know where I got all the information that I played in my prior video with the brother from Southside explaining everything that took place with Bimmy and the Young Guns from Brooklyn and the Young Guns from Queens and how Big Nose Troy, E Money Bags, you know what I'm saying, uh Pike and the rest of them placed it Bimmy under pressure because they found out from their lawyer that Bimmy was the confidential informant named Music. The same thing that he stated when he said when he was coming out the house and the police asked him questions, he said he ain't know nothing, he just did music. The same thing that came off the DD5 uh, joint where the police was investigating and they found out it was a confidential informant that was in the park. Now, if they found out it was a confidential informant in the park, then that means that that person was already giving them information that be classified as a CI. And when the CI left out the park 30 years ago, that CI talked about in the paperwork that Zip produced it about a dude named Bootsy looking for his niece. When Bimmy got back up there, 
what did he do? He spoke about leaving out the park when the gunshots happened. All his men surrounding him. Get out the park. He didn't want to tell who he had seen that was stooped down looking for his niece. But later on, a couple of blocks away, he seen the person asked him did they wanted to go with when Bootsy found his niece or whatever, because he never mentioned Bootsy's name. But we know from what was said in the paperwork. And that person said, nah, and kept it moving. But remember, when you was up there with Mikey B or, or, or on Gully or whatever, you then you when you spoke about that, it was like you was reenacting everything that Zip had already said off of that pro se motion that Mark P. Pearson had put in. So let's keep it 100. All I'm saying as another triple OJ, you know, God, gangsters, and gentlemen, GMG, getting money guards, because all of us are all the barrels, and that's why I'm going to have guards, chronicle, everything to put this together. Because at once upon a time, we had that type of bar. And that's why Supreme, I know he knows his lessons. And when it came time for him to do his thing in the Herald game, he came amongst the guards and let him know he putting his flag down because he getting ready to do that. The same way Freddie Myers even did with the father. The same one that they did the documentary on and Bimmy, you didn't know nothing about uh I mean, Queen Flip with Bimmy was on the interview with y'all. Y'all ain't know nothing about Ronnie Bump that put Cat and Primo that was put on by, you know, um, Pop Freeman, you know, Country, you know, Old Man Chop, those rich individuals that sat around whispering, smoking cigars, drinking corn liquor and overalls and driving bullshit cars but had millions and was really in control of everything. Who put Rodney Bump on, Mr. Uglies, on Linden Boulevard and Farmers. My man, my guru brother, Grand Groove, a part of the Farmers crew. P. Ron that got killed up at the Parson Hotel, Phil, Sleepy, you know, Big Cock Diesel Bell, that did all that time, came home and passed away, Bunk's physical cousin, that put in a lot of repping work for Queens behind those, those walls. Yeah, like I said, I got true stories for days, for real. You know, I'm surprised, Bimmy, you ain't know about the farmer's crew and just said, uh, Ronnie Buck, <laughs> no, was Shorty Black. You know? We're killing at the basketball game. What we'll to do was a Correction officer or something made the wrong call and got his brains blown out, man. <laughs> and so much. But one thing and two for show, you know, at the end of the day, whatever is done in the dark, it will come to light. And I don't get anything out of this energy or talking about, you know, my brothers that I have respect for. But at the end of the day, if you did something that was out the way, if you did things that broke the codes and the cloth in which we was cut from, then you no longer can be idolized, you know, looked upon and, you know, the same respectable, you know, Death before dishonor, Costa Nostra, all, all the things that's technically bullshit nowadays. Not even the mob live by those codes no more. Because when the drug game came along, changed a lot of people 
and a lot of things. And a whole bunch of individuals have that tag on them. It's just whether you know or you don't know. And then you got situations where the feds, they won't even have it on the paperwork. We got dudes that was home, they, they had their girls working. So who's who anymore? And my biggest beef before I go, I wouldn't even be involved with this. But you know why I had to get involved with it? Once again, Ben, when you got up on Math Harper, when you got up on that, and I think another documentary, every last one of those individual platforms, you made this statement. You said, yeah, you know, all of them was God body. You know, Supreme, Prince, Seizures, Baby Wives, you know, um, Green Eyes Born, the whole crew. And you wasn't. And like you did on Math Harper, you... Because I remained a Christian and, you know, gave all my thanks, you know, to that mystery God. Once again, no disrespect to what people believe in, but I'm going to stand on my square with what I know is right and exact. And you made the statement once again when Dad was talking about how... You know, Fat Cat got twisted, Pappy got twisted, you know, Preen got twisted, Prince got twisted. And remember, you was the only one that did three years for a kilo of cocaine sale to an undercover. And I'm not going to doubt. You know, you explained it and you said how quick they made you cop out to that. But we all know in the state of New York, whether it's a large amount or a small amount, a sale of a controlled substance to an officer, a direct sale to an officer is an A-class felony, equivalent to a body. And you being a part of this whole Supreme Team cycle, not just being a part, one of the bosses. You understand? It's a difference between being a worker, a lieutenant, all that. Like you said yourself, when Preem went to jail, you and Black just became your own generals and prince became his general. And like, I always use that term, like I say, you know, that's just that Brooklyn lingo or repetition. Eventually, I will uh, master that in my form of communication. Okay? Getting back to the A-class uh, felony and you being the type of individual that was in the game on the level of being one of the bosses of this notorious Supreme Team that you immediately copped out to the three and a half to life, which they was giving up back then. But it's kind of hard when all that was going on. And granted, you probably wasn't involved with none of the murders or anything like that. On that level, you just was getting money. But it been a lot of people that went to jail for just getting money. You know, my man can do and I'm cool and a lot of individuals wasn't as violent or violence involved because once again, the OGs, taught me 
The game is not made for the swift. The game is made for the ones who can endure. So once again, you got to know how to stay underneath the radar. Same thing with the mob. The dogs was always cool. The ones that stayed under the radar, the chin was vicious. He was knocking everybody heads off, walking around with a robe like he was crazy. But once, you know, Gotti got in a position, you know, he wanted to be the Teflon dog and flashy and talk shit until they put a bunch of bugs up and found out everything that was going on. And then he wanted Sammy to take take the weight and probably would have put a head out on him and went back out to the streets and Sammy was his best earner. Yeah, I read Sammy to build a book and all that. He come from the real essence of that Benton Hurst, white boy, <laughs> you know, Italian shit. I had to throw a game in New Utrecht before in the CYO tournament. But I'm not going to keep y'all too much longer. I done did others, so I'm going to edit this, put this together, and I'm going to get back at you. But guards in the streets are definitely here to stay. And once again, when I do decide to go live, I hope I could go live first, you know, real soon, one of these days this week, with my man Zip a little bit more. Uh, on this topic, because if any of y'all have any problems with what I said, you understand? Then, like, zip check. Let's get to that. Because the God word is his bond, regardless to who or what. I have nothing to gain out of trying to lie about in 1991. I was in there with Royal Hill and T.A., both of them, rest in paradise and thought and mind and everything, rest in power, that I seen these documents, I did. And like I said, you know, I don't know if Robo just, you know, I don't know any of them other cats that's doing time or on that indictment, whether they want to come clean and say, yes, these individuals, like I said, what do I have to gain about putting black just involved with this? But you got to understand, if somebody let you see some documents like that over 30 years ago, we in the Beacon in 4A, what would make you think that I'm about? I'm going to tell him, oh, let me make a copy of this. So later on down the line, that when they trying to call Bimmy a confidential informant, that I got these documents to show that? No. But I'm telling you what my eyes, my physical eyes seen. And because that man was there with, with me, and I was there when they beat those bodies, and he came back in, and was like, yeah, we beat it, but they didn't let us go. We They said something about they got to wait to see and do some paperwork. And once again, law blessed Muhammad. He said, yo, Sha, this don't look right. Say something is not right with this. If they ain't getting us out of here in 24 hours, I don't know. And sure enough, I can make with accuracy stick this again within 37 hours they came and got him. and like when i read the brief in 1997 that prince and all the rest of them put in there to try and get these time cuts under these new drug laws because everything with prince in them is pertaining to the cce Continual criminal enterprise with the narcotics. And once again, when I read it, the Fed stated, and Prince was locked up when they went around hitting all these cribs because they needed to get something to be able to reel them back in because the case with the Colombian suppliers and everything was looking weak. So they had to make a move. 
But when they made the move in that case, it stated that the Fed said, yeah, we hit all these well-known targeted premises, but the one main premises that had 11 keys and $200,000 in cash was moved before they got that. That the team was tipped off to the point that they was able to move that large quantity of drugs and cash. But other than that, they still got enough weapons, ammunition, paraphernalia, and money and things to complete this charge that they was going to give them, which was the RICO. You know something I think I need to get on here and just start breaking down a lot of cases and everything because a lot of y'all is really illiterate of the law. And that's why the law punish y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because what they always say, ignorance of the law is no excuse. This is God in them streets. Make sure y'all get my subscribers up. Definitely, if you come in to look at my videos, hit the like button first. If you don't watch it no more than two seconds, if you had enough thought to come to my platform based upon what you see in my thumbnail or whatever, which is giving you an explanation of what this video is about. If you have enough time to stop by and check out my platform, then make sure you hit the like button. That's all I'm asking. Not asking for no money. I don't even care about YouTube monetizing me, but I care about my audience at least saying to me, yo, God, we respect what you do. We respect this knowledge that you hitting us with. And we respect that you was really out there in them streets and that you are not going to tell us a bunch of fake ass lies just to try and act like I'm somebody. I'm one of them dudes that's used to not taking pictures and being in the mix of all this. I'm not used to being up here expressing myself to the whole world like that, but I can now. Um, you know, I'm retired, man. I'm an old man. But, um, my man, what's that? 1090 Jake, I heard about you. I'm going to get back at you because I'm 61. I'm four years from that man that you and your man, when y'all was drugged out, you know, home invasion came in through, you know, the garage, however it went down, and y'all got in there, you know, the man bucked a little bit, y'all pushed the man down, and, you know, took what you took, I want y'all to come, you know what I'm saying, and I'm getting ready to work out, man, so I can get right, again, just in case one of y'all little young bucks want to test me, you know, because I ain't going to never be one of them old washed up cats that just going to let you just take advantage. I might not be able to go no more than three minutes or two minutes, you know, because of my age now. But believe me, I'm going to be putting it in. I'm going to be getting busy. But, you know, on the real, man, this is all about us coming together. Stop all this separation. Remember, the first tool that the devil used is the same tool that he uses nowadays, which is called divide and conquer. Y'all stop going at one another on these platforms over trivialist, you know, bull crap that don't add up to nothing. But in the same token, keep it real. If you say you about that life, then live that life. Be about that life all the way. I didn't, I didn't, you know, have to take my situation to the bar hard. And I got plenty of other situations in between, you know. These struggles in life. Ain't nothing going to be perfect. Ain't nothing going to be holy. But everything can be righteous. And to be righteous means to just do right. So at the end of the day, BIM on some real shit, 
You know what I'm saying? Comrade to comrade, because I'm still going to treat you as a comrade at this point. You know? But it's not looking good. You know? So, if you got to come clean, yo, bro, we in your corner. But don't try and fight what's actual fact, what's evidence, what's proof. And like, you know, Zip ain't start none of this. Ten Toes started all this, this ruckus, and you made the decision to rock with him, play games. I thought you, him, Zip, and High Song supposed to been doing the podcast thing, and I think that's another reason why Zip feel like, you know, you didn't stand up for him because he was already in motion. And from what I could see with the little podcast hooked up that they got for him, pff, looking good. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to act like I don't want the same thing to possibly happen for me. But you got to put in the work and most of all, deal with us individuals that got real content. Stop dealing with individuals and, you know, I ain't taking nothing away from anybody that make something from nothing. But look at the foundation of what they utilize to get from there to here. And if they used it off of the backs of our culture, if they used it off of the backs of individuals that was in the game, once again, we should be getting some type of, they had a war on drugs. We are, uh, you know, POWs, prisoners of, of, of that war. Where's our dope? I might, I might, I might send, send a, something to Congress or something to see if uh, I could get all of us ex-hustlers and everything that did time and been through all the post-traumatic stress of growing up uh, in those environments and, you know, becoming a part of that. So y'all think about it and support one another. This is God in them streets. Make sure y'all hit the subscribe button, the like button, and share. Most of all, I'll be back.